That is there. We have all five Epsilon players, all five G-Bots players up, and we are underway on Hereford base. Let's see how this Finally. goes. Yeah, Epsilon. it's exciting. Mm. Well, I, how's Epsilon going to do? That's what I'm Honestly, I, for them to do, not to do well, but for them to pick up, uh, say, force to overtime, right now is a surprise for me. Really? I'm expecting to see G-Bots gain, gain a strong momentum here. Uh, and, and really run away with this game unless unless Epsilon have something special for us. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, G-Bots have done very well, haven't they? Um, yeah. And they've got a lot of people saying that they're a great team, and we've seen that. Um, I think if Epsilon weren't called Epsilon, we probably wouldn't be having the same kind of uh, talk right now. We'd just be like, oh, it's just G-Bots are definitely going to have a chance. But because it's Epsilon, you... Um, you know, they've, they've got that name, haven't they? Yeah, true. Yeah, when you see that organization you behind just them, you see that it. kind of reputation there. Yeah, you, you expect uh, a team with, with strong standing. But uh, we'll, we'll wait and watch. We do see a recruit defense here for G-Bots, which I kind of really like on this particular map because of how small that basement area can become. Having the three barbed wire really helps slow people down once they get down there. But as we just saw, he's still holding one, and he put one on the stairs. Going for the MP7 instead of the carbine as well. Yep. Um, we saw uh, Panari last round, Chalet. He ran uh, Bandit with the MP7 and no sights intentionally. Like they, These are arguably the best iron sights in the game, according to a lot of players. Yeah, I think I've heard that. So, yeah, it's not the hugest surprise to see him running this. Uh, no, this of course not, but carbine, you can't... Uh, no. Oh, it's, no. a, it's a really good gun. That's uh, Jaeger's gun for those yeah. who don't know. So, we'll see where he goes. All the barbed wires are now down. He is roaming around the rest of the map. He's got that uh, brilliant gun in the MP7. And to be fair, on this map, you don't need to have the three mobility from Bandit. Going two and two here with the recruit is also quite powerful. So we see Lion, yeah, picking up the first kill out and uh, inside the... Uh, where did he get that kill from? Because I don't think he stuck his head outside. But he's taking that shotgun smoke to pick it up. So we see another member of Epsilon drop. Jack goes down to Sensic. They do have themselves a Glaz, which is one of the first times we've seen this in quite a while. We saw one of the Xbox guys try and use it on uh, on Presidential Plane. Yeah. But that was a uh, Interesting in using Glaz on this map. Um, yeah. For the bottom, like from the top, I can kind of understand it. Because you do get the, uh, you can stand on the building and look through the windows. Yeah, that's but why nobody plays the top bomb sets. <laughs> but uh, on the bottom, well, he's down, so. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gone. He was trying to fire through those holes and got picked off from inside. Yeah. RCK, his very low. Sensic fired out through that garage and picked up one kill and nearly got the second one. And there's already two members of Epsilon left here trying to get inside. Every time they think they find a window and a peek inside the bomb site. Someone from G-Boss is inside waiting and is already shot back at our death. Yeah, they're doing very well. I don't think he's they've even been hit Inside yet. goes Safiz. He's into the lockers, but he's been spotted and will be cleaned up with oh ease. Oh my god, that was flawless. RCK again. No, no, it weren't, it weren't just flawless like 5-0. I don't think they got hit. I think no, it's all right. I don't think a single person took what? a single point of damage. Oh, come on. Look at that. There he goes. And I mentioned it, Epsilon are going to have to do something really special to get and rock the boat here. G-Bots looking amazing yeah, right to the start. We haven't seen a defense around here from Epsilon yet, so they still have an opportunity to swing it there. Indeed. But, I mean, right now, if, if it goes anything like that one, every time G-Bots open fire, they will land in a kill. Yeah, yeah. that was, uh, well, we'll see. I mean, it's just uh, the first round in it. And as you said, they are on defense. See, the problem is though, defending this bomb site on this map is one of those ones that most people have locked down with ease complete and mm. so as a result everyone uh, like has an idea of how to attack it slowly but surely yeah so it's never normally that much for one push you normally pick up a kill or two here and there and it, it gets down to being quite close to the end that being so one-sided right from the get-go it's not a good sign mm. Ten seconds to insertion. what are you making here Hansen? He's just making, uh, what is it, a kill line? No, but it's the fact that it's oh, curved. Oh, well, wait. Exactly. He started it curved, and now he's going all the way around again. <laughs> okay. I think they're just trying to make a nice big hole. <laughs> it's been a long time shotgun. doing this. There we go. Just making a nice oh, big wow, hole. Oh, wow, I like that. As okay. RCK, oh, sticks his head outside right at spawn, picked up the first kill onto Lion. That's good for Epsilon. Looking for that opening, and it's the Thermite too, so it's the perfect target to pick up that early, early kill. They spent a lot of time doing that when they could have just used two shotguns. They could. As it was, though, they don't have any shotguns. 
Uh, they have a frost. Oh, they do. They have a frost. Where did she go? She's wandered up here into garage with a smoke in tow. Interesting. Choosing not to stay down and help these two out. In have here. they got free roamers? They do. They do. Okay. They have asked to play around upstairs, and there goes Jack taken out from behind by Sensic. He was staying up in the garage as Frost backed away. Down he goes. RCK now still upstairs. They have a rough idea he's around there, of course, because of that early kill, but nothing more done about it yet. <laughs> to check in various spots, taking out cameras in the top floor. Sensic checking the floors below. And Wesker waiting there, waiting for the call that there may be someone on the stairs, and then we'll take them clean off. RCK still upstairs. There you go here, firing onto drones a couple of times now. Spray through the window from Wesker, but RCK is repositioned and he's being closed in on now by Drid. And he nice. will take Choi out. Now he knows Drid's on the stairs. Oh, but he runs out of ammo and Excellent. gets sprayed down by Wesker yep. from the outside. He's in a good position. Drid is actually very, very lucky to be alive there that Jaeger didn't have the ammo needed. Otherwise, that could have been a free kill for him. Gotta get that intel. This is a nice slow push. It is. RCK picking up those two kills are very nice. I only wasted half the round timer though. Let's Someone needs to be with him though, because you don't want him on his own with the diffuser. No. I mean, they're all very close by, as you can see the here. Oh, there we go, yeah. And, and he, he dropped it as well. to put the diffuser down. I imagine he will be one of the ones to make a first push in. That twitch weapon is so good in firefights. You're going to want to be one of the first in. Nice. Grenade comes in, trying to land it next to Sethi's. No, he's on the other side of the wall. Wesker coming down the stairs. Yeah, coming down the stairs with the diffuser in tow. He's on top of some barbed wire at the moment. Scary place to push there. There's so many players as what can see you. Yeah, got to be very confident in his shooting to do that. Goes through all the barbed wire. Now they know exactly where he is. 45 seconds. They're still going to make their way downstairs. Now Twitch pushing Ooh. into the briefing room from outside. Couple Can't players either side. Looking to kill out whatever may be on the floor. Down comes Wesker, gets yeah. immediately dropped as soon as he goes inside yeah. that bomb room. And he's dropped that diffuser. Yeah, it's in nice a horrible, place. horrible yeah. spot for that to be dropped. Now yeah, we that see was, that was Frost actually gets flanked by a sledge, so they do get that man advantage. Now inside to A they go. One player's down, but he will finish off the down rook behind one that B1. objective. He's picked up the diffuser. He's going to try and get the plant down in the corner, but he's got no health whatsoever. Hansen now inside. Oh, is that going to hit? Thought it might be enough. Yes, it, it did. is. That thing was on such nice. low health that even being that far away from it isn't enough to save I him. I like that he threw the C4, right? And then he came in because if he wasn't there, he, he completely destroyed that place and then he can aim somewhere else. So he's yep. covering two places at once as he pushes in. That's nice. Yeah, very nice. And I mean, as you say, it could have meant that he even turned and ran outside the room completely and, and would have run straight through that doorway to make it happen. Yep. Now, nope, very nice defense from Epsilon. It was a much better attack from G-Boss than Epsilon's had. Of course, they actually got it in. They got close to the objectives. They got some diffusers down. Uh, well, yeah, it was the perfect when they didn't get touched, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, we'll see if G-Boss's defense can be quite as strong this time over. But, of course, they got a second bomb site to attack this time. And the biggest change-ups we've seen so far today, we got a glass still in here for Epsilon. And finally, we get a blitz on blitz, the table. A blitz in the glass. Wow. The blitz downstairs wouldn't surprise me so much. Like pushing that A briefing room from that little alley parkway area with a blitz, it's risky because of the, the C4s and the play and the smoke. Mm. So I'd argue that a recruit shield may be better because of the ability, but a shield down there kind of makes a lot of sense. It's nice and easy to block off damage and get inside that room with a shield. Yeah. But up here, there's not so many places that naturally lend themselves to shield play unless he's going to try and come in through the garage, perhaps. But even then, being shot all the way down that corridor is a very easy... I'm thinking that he's going to go through the uh, the entrance. Um, maybe he won't push all the way, but he'll get that intel and cause that destruction. So that maybe someone else can push through the garage. Very possible. We'll wait and watch and see exactly like where he goes. Behind, maybe. Sensic down in the same spot within the garage, picking a mute, actually, which is also rather unusual for a lot of players. Maybe he's thinking to go stairs. Waiting for someone Attackers to come in towards that window. I don't Attackers think they're going to make that mistake a second time over. We'll find out. RCK spraying from range thermite now. Looking to possibly make a hole in some walls somewhere. Ah, so he's going to push garage, I see. Okay. Over here, there we go. So EMP goes out. Sensei should move in a second. Or this is going to do quite a bit of damage to him. It's going to hurt him, yeah. He'll move. Yeah, he will, definitely. As soon as it starts going off. Yeah, straight down the yeah. hole. Yeah, and he knows that they're pushing there now as well. Yep, so that's the information. And there is still the bullets around there, so he's going to have heard him. So they're using the shield and a drone for intel as they push him. Since it gets droned out of downstairs by Safiz and has to turn and run again. 
the noise down there. They're using up a lot of time without getting inside here, Jack. He is looking very, very scared. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a shield, just, you know. Thermite right now being closer up front. We see the Thatcher as well being more aggressive inside this room. There we go. Now Jack oh. peeks <laughs> in, but immediately turns to leave again. <laughs> and the other guy's like, go. you know what? <laughs> I'm just running. Really Laz is trying to snipe from the shooting range inside the building. He's hoping someone pushes uh, from one room to another. Yep, yeah, yep. It's not going to be the case. Choi does reveal himself to this window, but immediately goes prone and hides again. Crouches back the other way. Crouches left and right. RCK takes down Wesker. So that's the first opening kill then for Epsilon. I do like that. I do like uh, the class looking down there because the other team, sometimes they will pass from room to room, yep. especially if you're attacking from different ways or if they're trying to get away and you can just pick them off. Covering that cross is very powerful. As we now see... Jack looking to make his way in to this side of the building, opposite from where the actual bombs are. But the shield smoke is goes in. They're trying to plant. That's, that's not the bomb room, okay? <laughs> so if he's, he's trying to plant in a room the bomb isn't in. They don't know where is the it? bombs are. Yeah. Oh, it just falls Grid on him. Grid drops down, though. Grid falls straight down. Nice. And bandit, uh, Blitz well, there you go. him off. Now Troy's going to push in. Oh. Friendly grenade goes over. We'll try and clear out the other side. Okay, Explosion's okay. going off. Check in every little corner. Here we, the next this is more like the here we go. This is more like it. Here we go. Does Beautiful. get Dr Joy. It flashes him oh, and finishes him okay, off just yeah. about. There we go. So Nicely they got rid done. of the frost. That's and Hansen massive. takes down Lion in the other room into a B2. So now Jack has the diffuser and it's all on Sensic to finish it off. He's picked off from yeah. a long range by Hansen. And actually a really nice steady attack there from Epsilon. Despite not initially knowing which room the bombs are in. Mm. They do manage to clear out that floor with relative ease once they spend their time tracking down and finding the G-Bot plates. The, um, yeah, the the G, the G bot uh, guy falling down, you know, randomly falling down. Yeah. Why did he do that? Not entirely sure. <laughs> like I think they knew those guys were in next. The calls came out the spreads yeah, were, and Frost heard them. And I think the play was like, all right, they're gonna, they're pushing me, like they're pushing Frost, they're pushing that way. Drop down. He out. thought he'd shoot them in the back, but they they hadn't gone as far into that room as. No. I think well, yeah. Maybe the, maybe it was a good thing that the shield weren't pushing too far in, as we yeah. were saying, like push in, push in. But if he did, he would have got behind him. So, you know. So mm -hmm. not entirely sure. Okay, everyone's back in on out. So it looks mm -hmm. like we are remaking the lobby. Someone had another issue of some sort. or something yeah. along those lines. We'll uh, do some magical playlist magic and uh, remake that lobby. But let's talk about those opening rounds. We mentioned how g are a really strong team. We weren't really expecting them to have too much of an issue here. Well, but straight off the bat now, 2-1 up for Epsilon. They have, they've switched it on. Well, the thing is, like, yeah, we were expecting uh, G-Bots to win, but because it's Epsilon, I was thinking there is always that possibility they can, you know, do well versus them. I was always thinking that. Okay, and but why um, are they doing well against them? What what do you, have you seen them do that you think... Nothing yet, really, to be honest. honest. No, nothing too uh, crazy yet. Um, I mean, that round was really weird. I, no, none of them died as well. It nope, was just no, a really weird yeah. round. Uh, I did like the Glass idea of watching people go from room to room. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that from a team yet. And I it's don't quite think nice. We, I mean, we've seen it from teams. We haven't seen them do it with glass. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. with glass. We've seen people try but and But I, I like it because gla glass hits really hard. Yeah. So say if you've been in a firefight or, yeah, just a little firefight where you've been tagged uh, of the defending team and they try and just run away from that position and reposition somewhere else, glass will just see them and get that tag. It'll kill because it does so much damage. Yeah, so it's true. quite nice, that. Yeah, it's a nice, nice... And obviously you can look through the windows as well. Yeah. Yeah, and it uh, it did. You saw it locked Frost in one room there. As soon as she walked past the window, it took a couple of shots. She immediately went prone and had to crouch back and forth because she wasn't safe to stand up again. Um, we then saw him start getting aggressive into that room towards the A-bomb site before the shield showed up. Managed to pick up a kill 1v1. We didn't quite catch on camera, but still, like having that position, the that knowledge, and those quick one-tap kills. Like We were wondering about the shield, like how, how slow he were playing. Um, but he did quite a lot. He got rid of the Frost, yep. which is a massive... I always I feel like Frost is so scary, yep. especially on this map. As is it, like we, we were calling him for playing a little bit slow. His team were being, his other teammates were being more aggressive than him, but ultimately he was, he was doing well, the Well, he right got thing. the person who fell down, yeah, and exactly. then he got the Frost. Yeah, so by being not so far well. forward, he wasn't flanked by, by that Rook that dropped down. Managed to pick him off, gets in, manages to survive the initial Frost shotgun blast, and then flashes her to pick up that kill as well. So yeah. And usually you do sh see uh, Shields pushing ahead of everyone else. So maybe that threw them off. Maybe him falling down. Uh, he thought the shield would be the one further up, but he was actually behind them all. Because usually you see the shield further up, don't you? And yep. then the team pushes behind. But the team was there, and he was there. So yeah, maybe so it maybe come a bit off guard that. I mean, Possibly. there was a dancing back and forth, but when he actually went into the rooms after killing, I mean, the rook they were like side by side. But when he went in to get that frost, he was in front. He was the first. Oh yeah, yeah. After he yeah. killed the rook, so maybe yeah. maybe he thought someone were going to try and push behind. Possibly. 
potentially. I mean, they they probably heard the rook running around upstairs. To be fair, before he dropped yeah, down through yeah. the hole, so or got some intel some on it possibly. Yeah, as maybe well. something to do with that up there. Um, but again, yes, he, he ultimately had done we the job right. Well. They didn't run out of time. They were going to get their plan done, even if they didn't get that last kill. He, he got that flash from Frost. They knew she was in that room. They, they had that info from Gl Glaz earlier on, so they yep. knew she was around. You saw him checking the other little corners first as well, and then making their way in. So yes, very nice use of that Blitz shield, despite mm -hmm. having no like immediate... This is an obvious choke point for well, just for it, shield. He just cleared every it, room using him very yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, at the start, it, it looked like he was just doing it wrong, but it just shows yeah. how much we little, little we know, because he did such a, he did really well. Well, well done, well done. So, let me do see a... Oh, is this? No, I thought it would dummy. <laughs> slightly different defense from Epsilon like one floor this up. time over. Yes, yeah. they're going for the split bomb sites, the one that's across two different floors. And we see G-Bot's going for that fuse on attack. Now, We've seen this from a couple of teams on this map, and we've seen this from uh, some PC NA players. Yeah. It's not always for the gadget. It's just because he's got a great gun, he's three armor on attack, and that is very, very powerful when you're trying to attack this bomb site because of how penetrable a lot of these walls are. Firefights tend not to end as soon as you lose sight of someone. It tends to be, oh, I can see him. Oh, he's going to hit him behind this wall. I'm going to keep spraying through this wall. Yeah. Which is. Not always going to land in this kill, but it's going to hit a lot of tags. Three armor in that tag situation comes in handy quite a lot. Gadget's not bad though to uh, no, the use gadget on is the also, second yeah. and uh, third floor because you yeah. can pop through the windows and it completely clears that room. And it also completely saves this building. If if they can get above here and fuse down on top of Bandit, then they can thermite in through this wall without him being an issue. So exactly. there are uses for it, but I wouldn't be completely surprised if we see this round end before he's used it. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we don't see too much uh, deaths by fuse, but um, we do see them, so we'll see. If it just clears a room, that's uh, good enough, though, really. Yeah. Like the the biggest position. use out of uh, that you can get out of fuse charge, arguably, shouldn't be. And I mean, we've seen a couple of times on Xbox, but the PC players have seemed to be better at running away from them. Yeah. The biggest thing you can hope for out of a fr fuse charge the room. is someone ups and runs away from it and you shoot them as they're running away from the charge. Or it just clears a room as well. Oh well, yeah, but I mean that's like clearing rooms nice, but the, the best possible outcome. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah Best yeah. outcome is they sprint into someone else's bullets. Yeah. That's that's what you want to aim Yeah. For. The usual outcome is a panic as well. Yeah. Like you can cause panic. But that's you can do that with a lot of things, even shooting at windows. <laughs> you can yep. make people panic yeah, yeah. out you. I think that I think that's a big part of the attack of player versus defense panic. Mm -hmm. it's oh yeah, a it's a massive it's, tool. It's oh it, I don't want to say panic, but it's it's displacement. Like as soon as you find out where someone is, if it's too hard to attack them in that one place, make them move and then attack them when they're separate. Oh, he just was, <laughs> he just yeah. shot him uh, as he was front. Yeah, yeah. He, he knew he was that outside was nice. that window. He was holding the angle, and as soon mm. as he reached across, bang, yeah. blown him away. So Very nice. nice little early pick for Epsilon. Still holding a lot of their other position. Didn't move too far from there, did Sophie's. RCK still holding the garage through a couple of these kill holes. Down goes Legends, though. Nice. The Lion will finish him off, but he's taking a fair bit of damage in return. Choi making his way in through the initial front doorway. Two players now down on this floor. Hmm. Interesting they're coming from, no, I suppose. I was saying, saying it's uh, interesting it's coming from this position, but again, it is nice coming from all different positions, and it does take this guy very nice. The, this is the strength of attacking this bomb site, and it's why a lot of people don't like defending it, because so you are places. split across two. So if you lose control of one, the, the defenders uh, the attackers go straight outside, and bang, they're swarming the bottom floor. Yeah. The defenders have a hard time rotating between bomb sites because they have to go up and down these stairs, which are a bit of a choke. And it allows things like this. Yep. <laughs> Troy picking up two everyone. kills now as he takes as, down RCK as, as well. As they're just coming down as well. Yep. And now, because they know they've got control of this B area, Lion's going to come in from this direction yeah. and lock it. Troy grabs down Jack as he rotates, and Sensic takes down Sophia's as he's trying to reposition on the floor above. That, that, that bomb there as well is actually quite scary to hold just itself. Yeah. Because you've got that breach straight from the outside. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, can, I, I understand why people don't use that one as much. Um, you do have the element of they don't know where you are with defense because you can be spread out everywhere But if they do attack and they start dinting to your defense it wrecks you because say yeah. you've got two or three people yeah. there You take two of them. That's one then it's 5v1 or all pushing that way and you've got two people upstairs doing nothing Exactly. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as they start getting those kills that man advantage is amplified because of how spread out you have to be they do try, They do seem to be playing unconventional uh, Epsilon. Like they're bomb. using the glass, yep. and now they're using a different bomb site. <laughs> yep. I like it though. You know, they are, they're trying uh, these new things. 
Definitely. It's, it's, this is a map more than any, I think, that needs that, too, mm. because of how often it's played and how stagnant it's become with everyone attacking in this basement. It's super easy. They're never going to TV room and dining room. Everyone knows the, the same standard. Yep. Seeing Epsilon try things differently. Right now, he's keeping them at 2-2 two -two scoreline. But there's still many, many rounds to play. Yeah. using that glass again. Didn't have the most success though, last time they attacked the basement with it. Choi has grabbed himself a recruit once more, mm. but this time they are mixing in the blitz. He does seem, this basement he seems to be going glass wherever they go. Mm -hmm. It's not completely useless here in the basement. How is he like, doing the glass? It's just the case of you need to win these firefights when you're looking through these peaks from outside, otherwise yes, you get destroyed. Like How is he doing on scoreboard though, you know, the glass player? No. Uh, it's a remake. We only oh, one yeah. <laughs> so, <mind> then. <laughs> yeah. It's not already there. But like, he needs to win these peaks from outside if he gets in. And then best position they can get him is if he can get inside the lockers, he can be very, very powerful controlling this bottom floor. She mentioned how before he's really, really useful to have a glass watching the crosses from bomb site to bomb site, which is perfect. That's where you want to be for the lockers. You yeah, sit nice. in lockers and then you watch everyone coming from B towards A, take control of A, and anyone that tries to run across the gap, you fire at them with glass and you knock them down with a couple of shots. Yeah. But they need to get him in there safely this time around. Last time they all tried to push in and got immediately killed off. So Fees goes for the man that's peeking outside, taking a lot of damage, but out. has got him down. The grenade will clean him out. They didn't get close enough to try and revive him. They have no doctor to do it from range. Nice angle here by Wesker looking at that door from outside, but unless he gets that Quick shot on someone that's already low. That patience. It's not going to do a whole lot Steady of damage. A rock, man. Yeah. The thing with an angle like this is you have to headshot them, otherwise they're going to sprint past you, and suddenly you're, you're no use again. Jack gets taken out by Choi, who was roaming around on the top floors. Really nice positioning from him. Even though there's a drone at his feet, he gets that kill. Still looking for something. Thermite is incredibly low and has to be so, so careful keeping himself alive and making sure he gets these thermic charges off. I like, how we, I like how he's pushed back as well. Yeah. Use one here at the entrance to the lockers. Use another one elsewhere. And now, Glass can smoke his way in. Get all the way through. He's got a couple of windows open. Sprays through. Close to Sensic, but there's a couple of walls between him and them. I don't think there's a landing. Drid takes down RCK as he tries to push in to the other bomb site. Wesker looking through that nice. hole again. Takes the downed players out. There is Safi's gone. Now Glaz and Thatcher are the last two standing. Thatcher's the last man as Troy pushes very aggressively outside nice. to get Hansen. Good Legends stop. gets one. There is one down player and then it's just Troy on the inside. Troy knows he's in this doorway. He's going to go around and pick up his down friend. Sensing is going to be back on board. Okay. Legends though doesn't well. know this. Yeah, yeah, he had no way to stop it. That would have been like the perfect place to push, but he don't have our intel, so. No, so he drones around again, fires one player and immediately gets the drone taken out. Choi is going to reposition knowing he's been spotted. Oh, Sensic and his takes him takes down it. from the other bomb site. Yeah. G bots back on top. Three rounds to two then. He was sat there for a while. <laughs> yeah. Just looking there. There we yeah, go. Yeah, as soon as he got revived, he went here and just sat and held that angle. <laughs> Took two, two and a half minutes, but there we go. He <laughs> got it. There we go. So, G bots holding onto that defense again, but nowhere near was that as convincing as their first defensive point no, no. in that position. Epsilon learning from their mistakes round to round figuring out the positions of these defenders and this time exploiting them. But ultimately, the defense G-Bots had from the opposite bomb site, from the B bomb site towards that A doorway was very, very powerful. And Attack everyone from Epsilon tried to come through that, that same door. Mm. They blew the hole into lockers, but no one dropped down into there. Joy was taking the couple of people out that tried to go upstairs, but they were kind of nonchalant if their pushes upstairs, which is what allowed him to do it. You were allowed to take someone uh, upstairs and then just push back. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like keep the defensive position. They didn't, take, I didn't feel like they someone droned someone upstairs too well, and the guy that was running around up there wasn't being particularly safe about it. He was just sprinting about and got picked off with ease. He didn't mm. check all his corners very well. He wasn't being thrown and patient. So. Oh, they're doing this circle thing again. Yeah. Weird why they don't use a shotgun. I think this is taking a lot of time. I mean, Frost is being upstairs and yeah. defending against But one of them could be doing that bomb, bomb, and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I mean. Just time management, isn't it? I mean. Yeah. I mean, they've already got all their other defenses up. It's not like they're losing time. Yeah, I guess. So it's not too bad. It's not like they're they're sacrificing other defenses to make that happen. And it is a very neat hole. It is. 
Yeah, come Beautiful. And G-Bot's attack again then from multiple different angles. We do see Wesker in this same spot once more. Keeping an eye in towards the stairwells without trying to destroy the entire door. But does eventually happen. Got a Jaeger upstairs roaming. Need to watch yeah. out for him. He's already been tagged as well, I believe. So they nah, saw so him trying to... Yeah, there. he's trying to peek out towards some spawns and has been tagged. Oh, oh he just took the diffuser. Choi's face goes down. If and yes, knew. that's the diffuser on if that he roof. Knew. He could have. He could just literally watch there now. Because they have to get up there. I don't think he needs to watch that, to be fair. I think knowing they have to get up there is more of their time wasted. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And him I mean, staying alive is... is oh, yeah, cool. it is very nice. But if he knew, he could, like, watch for them to try and push there as well. Because awesome. <laughs> they're going to run up here. Going to be a bit scared, but they're just going to get it go back down. Just like yeah, that. That whiskey view does pick it up and gets away safely. Yeah. Druid looking to check that top floor for RCK again. Now make sure it's clear. And it is, because he's gone down onto the stairs, but he's not too far down. So... Druid's got to be careful as he pushes forward in this direction. So he wants to get that Roma. He will have been caught, but he's actually been pushed back on it. So, well, he's, he's pushed himself back. back. Yeah. Takes out a drone. So once now again, he's safe. once again, he's, he's took time off them. Sensei um, takes out Sophia's, and that's the garage opened up. So yeah. now the garage is being pushed in by Sledge. Took time off them with the uh, the drop, and he's took time off them because they want to try and find him now. RCK is on the same floor. Let's watch his position. He's taken a couple uh, more tags, but he's now still looking for the stairs. Does he know there's a player to his right? He should do, because they call him out that he killed him in the garage. Frost went down in that direction. That grenade will have also just flown straight across his fire. So he so does turn for it, but can't get that nice. shot. Gets the second one, though. He's RCK doing, doing well a lot RCK, of work yeah. right now. Taking a lot of damage. Oh. Drid will drop down on his head to finish him off. He did a lot, though. He did a lot. And they're down to 50 seconds with three players left alive, and none of them really too confident yeah. about pushing in this bottom floor yet. Like, just with the time he took off them, Again, he didn't even the need the kills. Into the lockers, Lion starts to spray, but Bandit's still in there as well. Bandit feeling nice. safe enough to push Wesker's side, takes him down, and that's the diffuser once more. Now Lion's got to go and get it. Drid is inside, and they know this, so they're watching the stairs closely, but Lion's outside and has to pick up this diffuser. Legend's hiding behind the bomb. Doesn't quite get eyes on him this time around. He's trying these different angles. Spraying through the wall. Give his position away again. Now Hansen's looking to try and find yeah. him. Does get him with ease after finding out exactly where he is. But 14 seconds for Twitch to get three kills or to get this diffuser. Turns his back on the other bomb site. Starts Tried to spray to away. Them. There we go. Inside yeah. A. No, Does actually get the kill onto Drid. Oh, nice. But Drid also returns the kill onto Legends. Trade yeah. one to one. And G-Bots. Sorry, Epsilon. Grab themselves another round. Mm -hmm. All to do with, well, I don't want to say all to do with, but big, big part with the Jaeger. Oh, yes. RCK, massive, massive part to play in very that well situation. Played, but the other three that were left alive in that 3v3 situation at the end played it very, very well. Cautious, yeah. patient, firing the different angles and covering each other's backs allowed them Keeping to... Keeping that advantage. Because yeah. you can you can get an advantage, but you can throw it away. Yeah, exactly. So they, they knew there was pressure on the G-Bots to attack because they were running low on time. And they just picked them off one by one as yep. those three players came in from very different angles at very different times. Technically, if you play this game right, um, if it is a 2v1, you will always win because you can get them angles. So even if they are a better aimer, you will still win because you'll trade. Yeah, exactly. But you do see it though. You still see these, <laughs> these 1v5s, 1v4s, 1v3s. Oh, yes. So, three rounds to three, as Close things game. stand. Once again. It yeah, was looking uh, like it was going to be an easy game for uh, G-Bots on the first round. 5-0, not even got hit. And then all of a sudden, 3-3. Free, uh, free, free. Epsilon with game. these unconventional tactics. Yep. Starting to get very, very impressive indeed. Drid's back upstairs. This is where he dropped down from before. Well... Getting that blitz in the back. Now, blitz and glass back on the roster for Epsilon. It's going to be a frost. I'm going to guess that's going to be a frost. Oh no, it isn't smoke. Wait. No, it is a frost. It is a frost. Patrick grenade going out. Thermite charge going off with ease. They're not oh. going to stop it, but what they've got this time is Drid upstairs with a hole above the door. Very nice. I've, no I've noticed at a bomb site they've always got frost there. And not just these, just every team on this map. We do see a lot of damage going on to Legends already as he was trying to make shots inside the garage. Back to sort of another through. grenade. That go. charge goes off. Wesker's actually above them. I yeah, think that's where the damage came out from Legends. So they know he's around there and they will hide from that window. Try to get the intel. 
here, and as you mentioned, Frost here. Yeah, right yeah, seriously. Contact. It's it's so easy for her to defend this well, doorway. Like, this we've, we've seen it. It's, it's amazing this place for Frost. Like even with Intel, and you know she's there, and they just got some there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, oh, <laughs> we've seen it. Angles really tight. Legend's still outside the garage. Where are you going to go this time, Jack? You did a lot of work clearing bomb sites last time over. Now you're going from a slightly different direction at the moment. He can rotate all the way around to that same doorway he came in before, and it does look like that is his old, but he's playing it very, very safe, cautiously making sure he doesn't get shot in the back. He is a very, very kind of cautious, slow shield player, this guy, from what we saw. But he did well, didn't he? So let's see if he uh, can do it again. Attackers recovered the bomb yeah, yeah. There remains outside. The fuser has been picked up by Ash. He is a way away from these guys at the moment. Is Drid still up above them? He is, and he is watching Ooh, this hole tightly. You can see the shadows. We could get a headshot here. He can hear that the blitz is close. Yeah, you can hear that guy miles away. <laughs> yeah, grenade comes in. Here we go. That's, That's gonna be a headshot. Yeah. Why I finished off. He comes in. He can't oh, quite oh, land the headshot. Oh, he wanted the head. He really wants it. Oh, starts the spray. Gets the tags off, but it's not enough to finish oh. the kill. Jack goes prone and starts spraying back through the floor, and that's not a wonderful start for Drid, but it has slowed them down again. 40 seconds on the clock, and they've still got to get in with the diffuser. So the very nice Get in underneath here. him, but just about dodge away from his shots. Lion goes down, and that's the first kill on the board for either team, and it's Epsilon to pick it up. Jack now with Safiz inside, still knows that Drid has the potential to come down around behind him, and they have to go and get this diffuser. 25 seconds on the clock, and they've got to make their way in. They've picked it up. Drid is still upstairs. Watching these holes tightly. Bandit on the stairs. RCK goes down. He's, He's on a plan. frost trap. They don't manage to pick him up because Joy is in there with them. Joy picking up a lot of kills but does get down for his trouble. Legends is now looking from a distance and is trying to get shot in the back. Diffuser inside on Hansen's hand is going to be finished off with two seconds left to go. Legends isn't going to get the kills yeah. nor is he going to get the plant. Drid with a flank from downstairs picks up that last kill. Dropped down through that hole there, picked up one player in the back, then managed to shoot across into the bomb site to take down Hansen. And G-Bots go to match point. Four rounds to three in favor of the Spaniards. I think they just took a bit too long of pushing in then. Yeah, yeah, they did. I mean, the the Drid shots slowed them down coming through there. They didn't have the diffuser with them, which not Always the worst hurt, decision hurt, because, you know. yeah, keeping it safe is a good thing, but yes, forcing them to go back and get it slowed them down again. Um, like if you're going to do the ash, that. like the uh, sorry, the frost in the A bomb. You mentioned how fucking amazing it is for them to be in there, uh, yeah. and she did so much work yeah, with yeah. the trap, getting Traps up one, getting another with a shotgun, I love downing herself. I mean, I, I like the SMG, but I, I, I'm not, I know the uh, the shotgun's amazing. Yeah, um, and then you've got the traps as well. So even if they don't get people, um, they can slow people down. You know, just like just like Cap can, I guess. It, even if it doesn't get someone, it slows them down. So she's such a good operator. Yeah. It, I, I like seeing that the new operators are used as well. I hope um you know when the other new operators are used, I hope to see them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no heard though. rumors about uh, what their well, have. setups might be. Really? Yeah. Intriguing. Intriguing. Be interesting to see how and if they get used in competitive play. Mm. We did see some buck in the uh, in I am kind yeah, of yeah. The only mainly to make calls though. Yeah. It's it, he ultimately hasn't found his place permanently here in competitive. So, but it does have that shotgun, so there is always that possibility. Well, that's what I mean. People use the shotgun; it's not good against players, but it was good to make kill holes. Yeah, no, so I meant actually, like if they maybe did something with it, maybe buffed it or whatever. I'm not sure. Uh, so it was more effective versus players. It is effective versus players. It's just not frosts, you know. Yeah, it's not as effective as all the other shotguns. Yeah, occur. exactly. Yeah. But let's see how they go. They're using this. Fuse again, but once before we didn't see. Nope. The I don't think he popped any, did he? Nope. But he did do some work with his rifle alone. Let's see where they go. The uh, found a roamer upstairs. Bomb sites are once again split by Epsilon. G bots. Didn't original. have too much of a time, too much of a tough time attacking these last time. Mm -hmm. Attackers have so let's see bomb. if they have the same ease of use I again. I think you really want to protect that wall, the outside wall. Um, where Bandit is now. Yeah, you really. As soon as that goes, I think it's GG. Near enough. I think the the advantage goes to like 80% that yeah. the attackers are going to win once that wall goes. Once that wall goes, it's very easy to plant here on this people. Yeah, and I don't think you have enough. Um, because you put, you're defending two different bombs, aren't you? Yeah. So you split between two different levels, and I don't think you have enough defense to uh, stop that attack once that's gone. And yeah. They don't even need to push there. So you've got that mind game as well. 
do you need to go down there with more people, etc. Yep. We'll see if we can take it though. Turning out Sahih Faiz. Still looking for him. Wesco makes a hold in one window. Cast the spray across onto Frost, you but can't finish him off. Now he's got to fight the shotgun. Oh, he gets it very Does nice. manage to win the spray down. Finishes her off as well. So that's a good clear out on one Roma. Like but Neil. there is still a castle upstairs looking to try and trade the kill back. Oh, misses those shots and has to dodge out from the grenade. Castle window very has been here. barricaded here, but ultimately not much. Choi nice. picks up Legends. That's another strong attack kill for G-Bots. They have got three to find, and that will make them, or take them this map. They're trying to pincer in onto Castle here. They're definitely putting a pressure onto their A sites. We see a couple of players dart through the doorway. Jack He's trying to hold scared, on yeah. as tight as he can. More spray coming Ooh, from all God. angles, hiding behind this cabinet. Yeah. Which I is think is actually penetrable. It is. And they start to sprint across the gap, looking for more angles in. Thermite's going to blow a hole to his right as Troy picks up RCK as well. Oh, and there we Don't go. Don't even need the hole in the right. Wesker takes him down. Bandit's on the floor below you. and now has to find all the kills. Does nice. get Troy. Stops his rampage of terror. Tries to see four underneath them here in the A-bomb site. Doesn't realize they're already inside the room. Oh, it's so, so close. He's on the other side of that wall. He did do his job as well. That's the funny thing. He actually did protect it. But again, the bombs are split. <laughs> so he did his job down here. But whoops, <laughs> it's up there. Has to get upstairs. They know he's going to yeah. come up the stairs. 4v1. They're all going to be waiting watch the angle. Thinking? There's one. Turns away at the last second. There's another one Sees at the it. end. Gets the spray. Can't quite the land the tags. Ooh, very close. Not taking any damage himself right now. He's just being held off, being kept yep. away from the diffuser. I think. That's all they need. Play the time. Checks up and above him. There's no one up above him. Managed to get up. Now he's getting shot again by that Thatcher. Nice. Gets up one. Uh, and then runs straight into but someone. Yeah. One more player inside that room. Is an easy kill for Sensic. Takes down Hansen and takes down the map. g bots winning it five rounds to three. I think that shows you um, how hard that is to defend. Like, we were saying that bottom one, you need to make sure that you keep it. And then he did. Yep. But he needed to uh, go back up to get the other bomb. Yeah. The, uh, the so he, he really wanted to keep this one place. And then all of a sudden, oh. Well, yeah, I did my exactly. job here. But he, he, he held his uh, he held his base he held his basement really really well as yeah. you mentioned. But that is the problem of having split bomb sites. Yeah. All the attackers have to do is say, right, we're attacking this one bomb site, and we know we're going to be in the numbers advantage instantly because the rest of them are going to be downstairs. Yeah. And whereas if you attack downstairs, it's fine. Okay, we attack downstairs, but they can drop through these trap doors they've made, and back them up quite quickly. Yeah. Upstairs, it's really hard for the downstairs players to get up in that kind of speed. And as it was, they did pick up all those kills down upstairs. We saw Choi do massive work running around downstairs, picking off the guys that were trying to make their way up and not sure on their position and a bit unsure. Mm -hmm. Bandit there left alone at the end didn't have that kind of luxury and was just taken out on his own completely. So had to find four players, had to get the defuse, couldn't do it. But props to Epsilon. Not the white watch we expected to be, especially after seeing that first round go so well for G-Bots. And we know how good G-Bots are as exactly, well. Exactly, yeah. So. so they do pick up that first map five rounds to three, but I have high hopes for Epsilon on their next map. Bank, it is Bank. their selection. So we've got some skill uh, hidden up their sleeve. They've definitely got some strategies there, some unique things and different things that we haven't seen from a lot of teams before with the blitzes, with the glasses yeah. there in there. Yeah. We have made a big thing about how a lot of the Xbox players and some the North Americans aren't really picking Bank for PC, but the Xbox players that are picking it really do not like using the garage. I'm going to be interested to see what kind of strategy these guys use using the garage. I and if they start imagine. playing a lot more glass, the garage is exactly where you That's want to sit in for imagine. that cross yeah, that yeah. we were talking about earlier. So we're going to run to a very quick commercial break when we get this lobby set back up and all the other players filled in. We will have an update for you on our off-screen uh, games yep. as soon as we get back as well. So we'll see you in five minutes. As we've seen, had some different strats lined up before. They're actually going for a particularly standard defense they are. so far for yeah. this first bomb site. The little locker's CCTV room, no surprise there that it's going to be in the basement. But it is, again, a very mobile, Roma heavy lineup. Do you think they're going to go for a glass? On attack? Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me to see no, it, it when they're attacking. He, he went glass every lineup. time, so he, he might just really like the operator, or they yep. might just like tactics around glass. Was it so, so one of the benefits of playing on Hereford is that so much of that base is penetrable. Yep. So that may be why they chose to, to play him there. Yeah, it could be. Not quite the same case on here, so it may not be used so often, but as we mentioned, attacking from the basement, using Glad to watch that cross from bomb site to bomb site yep. can be very, very powerful. We'll see whether you use it. We've also seen people use it inside that server room, down through this tunnel, these stairs or through that tunnel. You can still be very powerful looking through this doorway. I'd, so I'd say the, the best place for Glad is uh, Garage though, quite just likely. You've yeah, got yeah. The range. yeah, definitely the best place. Gives you the advantage. There are other options. We'll see whether he picks it just for the operator or if it is location based. We'll see. But right now they're on defense. 
We've seen other teams here using like the likes of Capcan, Doc, and Rook getting lots of three armor operators because it's such a small space with lots of random bullet spray. But Epsilon choosing for a very mobile lineup, already looking got for someone, very fast players. Yeah, already got someone uh, in the garage as well because, as, as we said, PC do go the garage a lot more than we see on console. I still don't know why. I think it is just the, uh, the meta at the moment. Um, but yeah, as you see, uh, he has gone there. Jack opening up the kills down in the tunnel, actually getting very aggressive going outside and picking up that first kill onto Choi. There's only just the one pushing down that way though. So here is where that mobility for Epsilon is coming into play, allowing them to be very quick, very mobile and make these kind of peaks. No one else coming in that direction. Though. Yeah, so that's more pushed out well far. Right <laughs> yeah. Let's see where the rest of them are. Hansen, you mentioned, is in the garage. So if he sees anyone coming that way, he can dart back to safety if needs be. He can also run around that basement and be, uh, that garage and be a nuisance on his own. Yeah. You can, Yeah, you can push to the stairs as well. And you're really close to the bomb, so it's not too far away anyway. No, and we've got Safis here on the stairs. A very normal place. Very standard place yeah. for Frost to play. And RCK there to back him up as well. So they've got a nice crossfire that here is nice. on towards that alley spawn, with then Legends being the last man, very static inside the objectives. That, that, place, fall back on. that place where the Frost is completely shut down the server room as well from all places. Yeah. Shuts it down there and then she can push back and uh, get the people from tunnel, even that smoke's there anyway. Yeah, so there we go. They're starting to fall back Ooh, now. A minute okay, and a half on the clock and they're wow. now realizing, all right, we've done the range spread out defense that we needed. That's interesting. Time to head back towards the objectives and let them come towards So they've us. got the idea that they're not going to push servers, so they're going to reinforce or, you know, just get more defense in another place. I think so. So you, you, you sit outside, right? You sit at a distance. Oh, that's going to be that. Could have been that was big. yeah, that was uh, that was so They taken down RCK though, as he was left upstairs on his own. But like, you, you give them a minute and a half upstairs to spend all that time trying to find where you are. Yep. And then all right, they've wasted a lot of time finding us here. Let's fall back and make them do it all over again to find out where we are in the basement. So mm. they wasted a lot of time making him do that way. Unfortunately for RCK, they found him upstairs and still killed him upstairs. Hansen fallen back from the garage just as Druid decides it's time to here make his go. way down there. So we'll see if he gets around behind Hansen or not. Hansen holding this angle, which is very good for the attackers to hold. Yeah, the bandit will probably hear this guy pushing. I'd like to think he does. Yeah, I hope he does. <laughs> if he does it, he's going to get easy kill. Oh, what? oh, oh my down god, with what? Hansen not paying any attention to his wow. backside at all. Really nice flank by Drid. Now we see Sophia's trying to hold the server on his own, but the rest of Epsilon are trying to be a little bit torn apart, holding different angles. Inside the B is Rook. Oh, oh Drid finds him with ease. Now Jack. Firing up and down this red corridor is going to fight Lion, and now Drid's come to join in as well. Oh, nice. So Vs gets behind. Lion in the back, and Drid goes down to Jax. Now the two remaining members of the attacking side are inside the B bomb site. They've got a Super 90 to fight against and Smoke. That's a good place for Frost to push. Frost, smoke is coming around behind him. Frost could looking for Jank. Oh, he gets a bit of a team damage off. Jack gets Wesker because of it. Now Frost comes in behind and manages and to get Sensic yep, in the back. That's what I Will say. get the defuse yep. off, and Knew yet, it. really nice way to push. Smoke come the other side, so they get that pincer movement. Yep. Wesker sprints straight across in front of Sensic as he gets the plant down. Sensic smokes coming this way. I'm ready for it. Sees him, starts shooting. Wesker jumps in front of him, takes a lot of team damage. That allows Jack to get the first kill on Wesker before getting downed by Sensic. And in the time it took for that all to happen, that gives Frost perfect timing to push him behind, mm -hmm. finish him off in the back. I also knew uh, the position they were in. That was just beautiful for Frost. It's all close range. Yeah. So her going in there, I was really confident that she was going to come out alive. Yeah, <laughs> firing like, down that corridor is perfect Where's that little her. tiny room yeah. that she was pushing into. So there is the glass immediately picked up then by Epsilon. Okay. It is going to be a different bombsite selection from G-Boss, though. They're not Aha. going into that basement as their first option. They're Ooh, going go right the upstairs, nice. Executive Land CEO office, which arguably is almost okay. better for Glads yeah, to it attack. Is. Yeah, you can uh, go you can to go the go onto car park. the car park that's yep. over here. Here you go. This car park and look through these top windows or even just repel by the windows and get quite a you big sight line into this office. All the way through, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's very scary to move around when the glass is up there. Yeah, so... be interesting to see if she does that. Oh, he does that. I was called Glass She. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so... So how random. you said it defense, of course, backing up the back of this A site easily, closing up these windows there for Drid just to make them spend some time and utility and opening them up. Because they are, of course, what allows Glaz so much of a sightline inside. Mm -hmm. Set sick, reinforcing a couple of the other walls that are inside that entrance reception I mean, area. A, a typical place for Glaz would be to go to the car park, but as we've seen with Epsilon, <laughs> yeah, typical, typical is not <laughs> in their not, wheelhouse. They don't usually do that, do they? So, Sensic immediately goes down into the basement. Where He's going to be this lurking room player. Glaz is up Aha, on the car park. There Can we he go. Get no Very oh, nice. he does see and the shots on the exactly Wesker. We're talking about. Down he goes. Castle finished off. He's trying to place that barricade mm -hmm. up. 
And that's actually quite a pivotal barricade too, locking that off. Such a strong position for Glazer. Waiting too long to get it done. Safi is now droning around. Jack doing the same from the roof. Go on to his. Ash up on these windows already. These can Again, open up this A site with so much power here. And doing it on these ones as well. Probably going to use this as maybe a distraction. Yep. It doesn't have to go in through them at all. Just opening them up means it's somewhere else for the defenders that they have to pay attention to. Yep. Sensing being called back well. up to his team, not getting as much time to lurk as he wanted, and Lion is now stuck hiding behind a bomb site. A couple of angles from this little cupboard have been blown in towards the bomb site by G Bots, letting them have Choi in here. Wall reinforced. Good job, fair fight. Bye bye, Tony. Yeah, I just saw that. As Drid is now looking for these hold positions. Glad stop being on the car park. He's now making a little bit of a push inside. He's going to run into Sensic, I think, before anyone else, but he has fallen back down to the basement. Could do a lot of damage down here. Good. He's taking a long time to get back to his team. This he could Thermite. possibly see this Fermite. This is going to blow right on top of Lion's head if he's not careful. So he's, he's going to have to get up and turn and run. Actually, sits right next to it. There's a smoke straight out into the hole. Didn't he's get hurt by in a very it. exposed position right now. There was smoke there, run. though. Yeah. What's that Jaeger doing? Because he's going to be going behind still them. still downstairs, waiting right on the bottom floor. He's going to be Glass a big threat here. looking for these openings. He's now up on the top floor, pushing from one end. Safiz is pushing from the other end, and Ash is looking at the windows. So many different angles of threat. We see everyone running on the spot. This yeah. is scaring me. That all weird. Hopefully that was just us. Production said oops, so I think it yeah. might be. Frost shotgun firing underneath the door onto Twitch. Isn't enough to finish him off, so he will get the breach charge down. Not ready to play it yet. Legends takes Ooh, down Safiza. Team, team kill. Whoops. RCK finish off Lions. Jack taking a lot of health. Legends taking more damage as well. RCK looking through more windows. Doesn't realize how close he is. There he sees Rook. Does a little bit of damage, but not enough to get the kill. Inside this room, still Drid and Frost hiding in and holding on. And 28 seconds. The Diffuser is down somewhere. Jack with the team Another kill of the Legends as well. On? But he does take down Choi in the process. These players all walking across in front of each other. There's a trap right to your right-hand side, Jack. Is he going to run Is he gonna see it? it? He's going to get the diffuser down. No, he's oh, not. He's shot by Drid from range. They've got 10 seconds to get in, pick it up. Coming in from behind, over the site. So I go down, run straight into the trap. <laughs> and Sensing takes down RCK from a flank around the right-hand side. Oh. I mean, we saw it was there. Oh, that's funny. That's not, lucky, man. not ideal. It started out so well for the Epsilon attack. Surprised that the, uh, did the Jaeger do it? I couldn't, I didn't see. Did the Jaeger, Jaeger do didn't it? do a whole lot at wow. all, no. Because th that was a good position. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Underneath them as they were all pushing upstairs, but as he tried to come up, they were ready for him and they managed to pick him off. But two team kills there by Epsilon really helped out the G-Bot's defense. Very weird. I wish I could see like what happened there. The How they team killed. <laughs> I think, look, I mean, you look Crossfire at where they were looking. They were, yeah, they were all looking yeah. through very similar holes. I think it was peeking into each other's pre-fire. Oh, two team lines. kills. Yeah, so Epsilon has to switch up their defense locations thanks to winning that first one. And they've oh. gone into this open area location that we saw from the Xbox teams not so long ago. It was brand new to see anyone use it then. This time around, it's slightly different. It was very, very powerful when we saw it using that situation. Can Epsilon have such a good time defending it themselves? We'll see. Castle on the window from the alley. It's going to slow down a push from that location, but I don't think it will do too much. Ash will probably just blow it from range, and then they get their vision in just like before. Yeah. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb. Barricade up! As we do see castle barricades up on a couple of other key doors. I don't like doing this one as well, though, because now you're locking your Roman out and locking yourself in. So we'll see if that comes back to hurt them or not, as Frost is down and underneath and is the sole roamer this time over. Again, that typical place. Actually, Smoke's gone right upstairs, so it's above. When you go back down, though, after reinforcing. He's looking for the early kill on someone that may come through a window. Yeah, he's looking for the early push. Now he realizes he may have been spotted by a drone and forced back to a slightly safer position, but he can't go back through this door because it has been reinforced by Castle. So he is stuck outside. Ross is stuck downstairs, but she doesn't seem too worried about it. And where are our attackers coming from? We've got Drid on this fuse again. He really likes this operator's weapon. Reloading. Off takes out a charge. Because they are inside. Careful of these kill holes that he can see. Lion on the roof. Ash 
over at range. And Wesker with Sensei going inside oh, by Smoke's side. got tagged. No, Smoke no. taken out by Choi. There we go. So he was hanging on those windows outside. Smoke stuck going around that front side of the building from the stairwell. Special charge. The attacker's well, bomb diffuser has been dropped. Attackers Frost the last man the then locked diffuser. outside. Rook is on the cameras. Frost still being very patient down in the basement. Good position. Jack forced to move thanks to diffuse charges. Thermite blowing the hole just outside the door where he sits. It's going to, uh, it looks like he's popping some fuses as well. Yeah. All being made clean and clear above this hole, uh, above this doorway. Frost still looking for that opening to push in and get from from behind, but it's not here yet. It's got a minute left and they're still being very, very patient. I think the Frost is going to be very explosive. It has to be. This, ha yeah. this this Frost has to get a couple of kills or at least well, as they mix push with him, their defense. As they push it. Oh, Choi's right outside next to him. That's a Frost. That the, the Frost is definitely going to yeah, win Frost that. can hear it. Choi doesn't know he's here. Choi's looking the other direction. So. <laughs> Safiz. Uh, Gotta be patient. Choi droning in that way. There he goes. He sees Choi on the drone. Goes knife. The knife. There, it there is. we go. As Jack picks up the kill onto Sensic as well. Has to immediately reposition. Hansen getting another kill inside. Went with that momentum there. Do you see Lion. after the knife just running? Yeah. Top down. Looking for an angle. Looking for Wesker's help as they both realize the Frost could be coming around behind him at any moment. Through another trap door. Looking for many different left. openings. Hansen is right by that hole, but he doesn't realize this. Thermite now has the diffuser, drops on down. Will have been heard, finds Very Legends. Nice. Picks up the kill onto oh, Legends. Does see Hansen, well. but can't get the kill. San Fears oh. takes down Wesker. Hansen finds Lion when he tries to prone behind the desk. And Epsilon grab themselves round number three. Nice. With a very patient, passive defense. It looked like they didn't really know how to attack that. No. It doesn't look like a lot of teams do. We saw no, that that's, before, yeah. didn't we? Exactly. We saw the yeah. Xbox teams picked that because no one's picked it before. Yeah. And so, right, well, you don't know how to attack this. And bam, free win for mm. us. So but then they came the back, same. didn't they? Yes, they came back yeah. afterwards. So maybe that will happen again now for G-Bots if Epsilon choose its second round. Maybe G-Bots have learned from that round and will have a better idea. But we'll Possibly. wait and see. And now we have the switch. Basement shows you though, defense doesn't it? from G-Bots. It shows you um, going to different defense places. Um, even that, you know, the other ones seem the best ones. Uh, going to the different ones, um, the attack, they Defenders don't know what to do. It bomb. slows them down, it confuses yep. them, they make silly mistakes, and it, it works. It's, yeah, these are these are the best maps. It's not that the, it's two ma two bomb sites, and those have to be the ones you pick. It's that there are three viable bomb sites here. You've just got to choose the one that your opponents are weakest on. Yep. It's not that the map is so one-sided that you have to pick two, which is good. Really nice to see that teams are still switching back and forth with these sites. But now into the basement to go G-Bots. Their first time defending down here. Once he's choosing that executive off his last time over. So we'll see if the glass is going to push the carriage this time. Yes. Which I'm pretty much sure. We were right with the car park. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're right with this. I mean, well, I, he I could think also be the car park pusher. Hmm? He could also be the car park pusher. We saw Hansen defend it last time, and then we saw Twitch go through there very late, but he could push there very early this time. We'll see. Doesn't have to go. There we go. Down the other angle. Yeah. He's trying to one's cheeking out that angle. And there we go. But there is a man down here waiting for him. Well, that's why he's getting the intel. It is Wesker. Goes on the drone. Wesker sees the drone. But he's safe here. These bulletproof cars mm. means he can at least see the corner without being shot. Hansen now knows where he is, knows that he can be seen, but they're both waiting now for that, that right angle. There's two of them there. They don't want to shoot each other again, <laughs> Epsilon. Legends looking for the shot onto Wesker's feet, perhaps. He pre fires one corner, gets oh, another one. The flashbang comes in. We lose all of UI, so I don't know where the hell to weird. choose. There we go. Wesker gets taken out by ah, Legends as they do track him down with the drone, find out exactly where he is fire the corner he peaks. So that's the garage push secured. And it's not just Glass on his own. As you mentioned, we've got quite a few of them coming in this way. We do see garage pushers on PC. Are we seeing them push another direction, though? That's the key thing. I'm right now, sure almost somewhere. everyone is pushing in that same way. One man in the tunnel is chosen to flank around, and RCK is choosing a different way as well. But everyone else for Epsilon is in the garage. Interesting. A lot of the defense is actually in their servers, well, at least half. Yeah. Blowing open this door from range means they can get even more sightline into that red corridor there, which is bigger and bigger for Glads again. Allows them to push the A bomb site while covering that wall. If they 
choose to do so right the blow now. up and a lot of that wall, the glass is going to be very strong in that garage. Yeah. So, where are you, Jack and RCK, going to go? So Fears is going to join them as well. It's going to make a hole in the elevator trap door, which will fall down into Drid's crosshair if they drop down there. It'll also go right next to Sensic too. So these two players are now going to be very cautious about where they show their faces. Key thing though is that these players. Oh, oh Jack hello. stay down, goes immediately prone and actually managed to get and a kill on Drid, but does he know? Nice. No, so doesn't know Sensic's in the behind, but, but Safir gets him. Yep. So a very nice trade for Epsilon comes through. Choi has flanked now back into the vault. So he's pushed Safir back into the elevator. But this is Lion really good. cannot move through this way very much because Hansen is there with a scope looking for him. Choi gets straight through but does have shots fired off at him, gets in towards the Where's B site. Frost, yeah. Ash drops down through the hole again. Frost being very, very passive. Lion pinned out this end now by the A bomb site. Cannot get in there to support Choi. Ash blows a hole in one door to keep Choi occupied from another angle again. Smoke with his shotgun. Will smoke Ash nice. out one side. Choi gets a kill onto Hansen. Gets a kill onto Legends as well. And that's brilliant for yep. G-Boss. Exactly what they needed. Now Ash is the last man standing. She knows shotgun's in there somewhere. And there she is. And Choi. Four of them, I think. From what was a terrible, terrible position for G-Boss. Saves the day with three very quick shotgun kills. Yep. Super 90 locked in the room. It's like I an animal you, backed that, in a corner. Uh, that, yeah, that's the uh, that's the room I said before. Like when the frost went in there, I knew <laughs> she'd be at a massive advantage. Two it's her domain. To two. Back into the basement go Epsilon. They won their first round here in defense. Can they get their man or no, round advantage back again by doing the same thing this time over? Very, very mobile defense set up again. Look like Epsilon were going to take that. They, they did really, really well. Um, they pushed, they did everything right, and the shotgun just took it for them. Yeah, as soon they, as they did it again by range. doing another unconventional strategy, like unconventional push. The garage, for one, was a big thing. Then even the guys that didn't go garage, rather than going through the server room again, they came through the elevator, they came down the stairs. Like They yeah, came from true. a very different angle that we haven't seen teams push in from before. And even though Not very there usual. were players in there holding those spots, they got the kills. We yeah. don't expect C players dropping through hatches, getting kills, but they were. So it worked because they were distracted with someone else pushing through another. Yeah. So they yeah, almost baited go. one to break open that position in sense. Five yeah, exactly what they did. Unluckily for Safis, it was a little bit too slow to save the Twitch drop down, but he traded the kill out mm -hmm. and it gave him the man advantage, but Choi had other things to say about it. Here come our attacking team again. Ash out front, most of the team out back. Frost at close, cra uh, at close range is just so beastly. Yep, exactly. It's crazy. Ready inside there again. Jack looking for this sewer tunnel entrance once more, but no one willing to drop down there this time. Pulse up top and above the uh, alley window spawn entrance. Heartbeat sensor Waiting activated. for someone to show up on this sensor. and then making a sightline into the stairs is Legends. And now I suspect go in here, make a hole. Yeah, there's already a hole in this wall. Where was that pulse? Pulse is above okay. the window into A. Yeah, Roman. Kind of defensive Roman, I guess. The open area trap door here. Yeah. Oh, and there's the thermite. He's a little bit slow on the fire. Could have been a bit more patient and perhaps could have killed him while he was planting the charge, but... Hurt him. Yeah, did a lot of damage instead. RCK picks up Drid, who tried to push him down instead. Now he will fall down, though, to the second member that's up there for G-Bot, so Sensic takes him out. Does pick up one kill, so it's not catastrophe, but staying alive longer will help the team out a little bit more. Lion does get this blown open into A, then. That's the trap door, giving them a lot of sight lines down and in. Sensic pre-firing down those stairs into where Legends was sitting. Doesn't do too much damage to him because Legends had moved. But will now drone his way down and immediately have it killed. Starts pre-firing again, knowing that Legends must be in that room still somewhere. But isn't landing too much damage. Right, Only see soon though. There we go. Now he sees like the shots come out. Can't land it again. Does get a lot onto Red Legends this time. Sensic even takes some in return. Too. Yeah. Safiz picks up yeah, one, but will immediately oh. be answered by it. the second one. Lion coming down the stairs, still on such low health. He but actually took that uh, position from Frost, and yeah. that's a really strong position. Is trading Frost. the kills, which is very important. Sensic's given up on the stairs. He's now going to be above A because they are ready to push in from underneath when they can wait these smokes out. 
So they need a man on that trapdoor above to give them that air superiority, so to speak. But they need to get through Jack's smoke spam first. Here comes another one. 30 seconds. Free free. Down through the hole comes the diffuser. Takes in through the door comes Lion, but he gets down. Legends is now on one side. Choice there the other. Sen6 gets down, but it does down Jack in return. Just one left. Only Ash left up. Andy C4. C4. Beautiful. Hiding in the corner. C4 finish him off. They knew where he was. They saw him run in there. Boom. Down he goes. And Epsilon's defense gives him that lead again. Three rounds to two. Very, very comfortable holding that basement. T-Boss, although did try something or another, slightly different tactic as to how to take control over it. Yep. Just arguably did, but couldn't hold it. They got in there, but could not hold that A-bomb site, as Jack did work, taking down two players before getting locked in. They were close, though. It was a three-on-three, -three and they were in there. Um, they just got the drop on them. Looks like they're going to see Eeyore. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Upstairs go the defenders. He got onto the top floor again, having won that lockers down before. They're going right on up. This Probably going to see the Glasgow to the car park as well. Yeah, this time though we hope Wesker will plant his barricades way before. So we don't get shot by the guys. Yeah. yeah. The round begins. Glass cannot finish him off like he did last time around. But we'll have to wait and see how it unfolds. We do see Frost once more. Still running around. So wait and see who is the one to explore first. That was a priceless rug. Monster. Making a hole down into the floor below. Now here comes the round. Glass straight up to the car park looking again to try and find someone that's not quite finished with their setup yet. This time he does not get quite so lucky. He'll stay there for a while. Yeah. He is very close to a lot of these people but doesn't have the same kind of vision we do. Ash same as before. Blowing open a couple of windows making herself a threat from this angle as well. So now they've got Glass at one end, Ash from another. And we will eventually start seeing the rest of Epsilon push in from a third angle as well. One camera still in this room has eyes on the frost. She's exactly where she was before. This time they know about it. Coming in from one side on angle. She's got a shot in towards the A site as well, so they need to clear her out before they get inside. Gonna push for it. Know she's in the room. Right at the top of her head drone is the drone. They drive it around so they can get the spot out and they can get the exact positioning. Grenade goes inside the door. Isn't going to come too close to it. She, I don't know where it ended up because it didn't break the barricade either. She shotguns there, and if another grenade is rolled through underneath, it may even fall down the hole. I think that's her idea. Yeah, I think she's, that's her escape route, possibly. Yeah, the trapdoor is definitely her escape route. The holes that were by the door, though, I think, were to get a lucky grenade fall down through it. So, you know, the use for shooting down Interesting. there. Interesting. Drone comes in. More spray comes through from Jack, but a nice quick reposition from Madrid keeps him alive. Shot comes through. Wesker takes Fuse down some fees. It does take a lot of damage, but yes, Thermite goes down, and that's big for their push directions. Jack kills Drid inside that room still. More shots firing off in different directions. RCK takes down Wesker now, and yeah, there's one there flanking player, and he has been spotted, but takes a lot Ooh, of damage from Glass. Very nice, Glass. And will get down. Now only two defenders left up. Lion inside the A-bomb. is safe on his right because the Thermite's already dead, though. Oh, one wall's been blown. Let's just slow him down. He's going to smoke it off. Window. Choi takes down one, and that's the Diffuser. Goes for Hansen, Oops. but will die as he will sprint straight into the fire from Glass. Lion that's takes down RCK smoke. on the window, and he's going to continue smoking that wall. He can do it. Looks through do the hole want. behind him. Doesn't realize that Glass is inside yet, but he's going to have suspicion. Glass is in the oh, meeting room. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, Hansen nice finds Lion and Shot Epsilon four rounds to two. Shotgun versus Sniper. Sniper wins. Oh. Yeah, Sniper had the better knowledge, though. Here's him coming wow. in. Wow, nice. Blows his face clean off. Shotgun. Didn't quite get the swivel shot in time. Didn't realize how quickly Glass had moved into that room. Takes it four to two. Match point then for Epsilon. Looking to even out this series after losing that first map to GBOS five rounds to three. Mm -hmm. Can they salvage one point from this matchup? 
definitely better on this map than they were on. Is Heracle, this what you were expecting with uh, Epsilon? First G after seeing the first game, yes. Before we saw them play, back. no. Like after seeing how uh, Epsilon played out the Hereford base map, yes, they didn't win it. But the rounds they did and the rounds they lost, to be fair, were not after the first one. Not yeah. complete shambles. Like they clearly had some teamwork. They clearly so had some strategy in place. So like, yeah, yeah. On this new so then map. on on their map, yeah. with new things to try, which they've clearly brought out here with very different operators, very different bomb sites. Yep. Here again. They've as well. gone here again, and last time. Um, G bots had a really hard time on this one. They look yeah, lost. Exactly. Like so. So having seen them play like that, having seen their slightly different strategies, it was either going to go really well. Uh, sorry, it was either going to go like horribly for for them, and they're just going to lose completely to G bots, the again. or we could have seen this. And as it is, we're seeing this, and they yeah. are starting to take the lead with a little round buff. Now. If they don't adapt um, to this defensive position, we are going to see Epsilon win. Yeah, oh. that's my prediction. G bots, as you mentioned, were a bit lost trying to push in here before. Now they've got a second chance to do it. Let's see how they do it. Have they figured out what they did wrong? It's always down to time management. They did take way too long to push in. Yeah. Up onto the various roofs to go multiple people. Troy pushing from the front angle there, as he is the very mobile attacker and can rejoin his team pretty quickly if needs be. Back and forth. Hanson Roams listening for that thermite charge if it so tries to come on this window, uh, this wall. It's a very tough one for him to pinpoint because of how many panels there are, but he'll give it a shot. Ross CK takes down Wesker. That's a strong start for them as Smoke mm -hmm. is roaming around on the top floor. And down goes Thatcher. That's big for trying to take down these walls. Hanson can now. They're going to want to get rid of this Roma. You if can they see knew that was there. thermite, Hanson can start putting down charges here without worry. I think there's three of them around that Roma. They definitely want to get rid of him. Definitely so. Ash on the roof too. Spraying through a couple of walls just to see if he can open up a sight line or get a lucky tag onto someone. As they know the smoke is around here somewhere and they're trying to clear this floor to find him. Yep. Behind him. He'll be in a fawn in the side, that guy, if they don't get rid of him. Watching down this hallway. Oh, this is the an timing. I there he sees oh. Troy. Yeah, That's the diffuser gonna, down. I, I predict this smoke's going to do, do big this one. To look to his left. Safiz actually gets another one in that same hallway. Nice. That's the shotgun coming up to join it. Lion takes down Safiz, but Drid is inside. Lion has taken a lot of damage from this. Drid just to the left with the fuse. Oh, he's giving his position away with those shots. Now RCK knows he's safe to hold that angle. Why he exposed his backside completely to Lion, I don't know. He knew Lion was there because Safiz called it out. He'd killed Safiz. Yep. All he had to do was hold a slightly tighter angle, but. They've done their job. They killed out three players. They've taken a lot of health off Lion. There's a minute left on the clock, and they've got to get in against three people. Down goes one defender, though. Jack finished off by that fuse charge. Will be got back up pretty quickly as the second fuse charge goes off. They are still running all over the A-bomb site, but the charge doesn't do a whole lot of damage this time over. Thermite on the wall. Hansen steps away from it, and it gets blown wide open. Still got to get inside of there, though. Hansen Thermite right up close, close is holding it. Then. Drid drops down to outside. Legends has only just repasted this window. Will immediately see it broken open again. Doesn't realize and wow. doesn't even turn to look for it. Get down with ease. Very big mistake from Legends there. Hansen finishes off Lion though with the diffuser as he tries to come in through that hole in the wall and then gets Drid and as he comes through the window. Yeah. And Epsilon, five rounds to two, take this map very comfortably.